Right, we, just, we finally got a bit of summer. It's actually too hot to be doing this, but we've decided to do it anyway. Way too hot. <laughs> um, we've, this is the second walk of the four walk series. This is longer than the other one. It's actually really long. I think the walk is actually nine miles in itself, eight miles, nine miles. But we have to walk four miles up the canal to get there. That's where we are now. On the canal. It takes about an hour up the canal till we get to the beginning of the walk. So I think it's about four miles. So we're going to just, it's like two o'clock now. It's quite late. So we're just going to get straight up the canal. There's nothing exciting up here at all. Unless we see anything really exciting, but... Yeah, it's gone now. So, unless we come across, I think all the ducks have been done as well. It's too late for duck babies or geese babies. So we'll just fly up here till we get to the actual walk. So we'll meet you back when we get to the other end of the canal. Right, we're about two thirds up the canal now, but there's um, a bit down here we keep, it comes off the canal and it looks like a little wooded area. We keep saying we're going to do it each time we come, but we never do. But we don't really have time today either. But we're going to do it anyway, because it's shaded and it's absolutely roasting hot today. It must be about 28 degrees or something. So we need a bit of shade for a bit. Not yeah. We've done it and there's back up at the canal. In fact, is that not that where we come down? Yeah, it is. It can't be, it's just the same red bag. <laughs> not well, where we came down, but it's where we came down last time. <laughs> yeah. Sister. And there's. Why are all leaves falling off the trees? <laughs> See that time of year. But. Yeah, it's got all that stuff on top, like our pandas. Mm. Oh, that's so we can get up this bit. So we're just going to go back up there onto the canal now. Boat behind us. <laughs> the boat. Oh. Um, we've been seeing this all metal stuff at the side of the bridges all the way up canal. We've just realised we thought they'd been cleaning the canal out. But the council wouldn't leave the junk on the side like that. I just realised somebody's been magnet fishing. Oops! <laughs> oh, there we go, it goes away. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what all the rubbish is about. Right, we just stopped for a second because we just found this bench and it has a plaque on. Now, every time we walk up here, we always stop here because. This is where the country starts now. We've left the houses behind and it's actually a lovely place because you're not going to see, I don't think. No, you can't see. That's because of the glare either. But oh, there's loads of bubbles over there. It's like fish haven here. There is, in spring you get all the little fish, all the babies and if Oh, you can't see. Just further around the bend, there's people fishing there. It's a good spot for fishing. But somebody's put a nice bench. So, yeah. Oh, there's 
so that's nice of them so it is a pretty view from here but anyway let's go a bit further and we're nearly there now come on Right, we're at the end of the canal now. This bridge here, we go up and over this bridge, we cut off the canal. But before we do that, there's a place in here. Uh, oh, it's up there. I think it's an old sun paper mill tower that they decided not to pull down and they turned it into, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Into a bat cave um, or a bat sanctuary. Or just somewhere the bats can go, actually, I think. You can't get in it yourself. Yeah. You can't get into it. You can't visit it. it. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Yeah. That's a bat face somebody's drawn on there, look. I'm not sure if that's graffiti, if it's meant to be there, but... Where? On that wall, there. See the bat face? Um, yeah, it's nice actually. I'm not sure. I think it is graffiti. So um, yeah, it'd be a shame because it'd be nice to go in and see. But it's nice here, watching them all flying and out at like dusk. But I've never been here at that time. So we're gonna go over that bridge, and we literally go all the way up that field to the top and then we cut down to the motorway bridge there's nothing exciting up there literally it's just a field we cross through um but we've got to go under the motorway bridge and then we come into something more exciting so we'll see you when we get up that way Ugh. it's actually a nice quite clear view today we've just come up literally from down there somewhere the canal um, up the field so we're like on the top but where that power pole is there you can probably hear the traffic there's traf a motorway there we've got to go under the motorway bridge now past that power line under a power line basically. yeah we end up getting frazzled and then we have got to go under the bridge, but it's always manky because it's where they shear the sheep. But I think it should be all right because we're at the back end of the summer season now. That's done at the beginning. So hopefully it'll dried up a bit. And then we get into what I call the fairy woods because in we normally do this at Easter and all the bluebells are out and the floor is just covered in bluebells and it just looks like a little magical fairy wood. But it's not going to look like that now. But we're going to get some shade in there at least. Because this sun is so bad. And we've got some sheep. <laughs> Hiding under the tree where it's shaded, I don't blame them. There's usually a few. Yeah. And if you look up, if I zoom in, there is Darwin Tower that we did on one of the other walks. Oops. You can hear these power lines buzzing away. Yeah, can you hear that? <laughs> um, so we're on this side of it, of that tower now. So let's get under there and we'll take you into the woods. Right, as you can see, it's still set up from when they've been shearing the sheep. Or they've been doing something else, look. Where they've been printing the babies with the coloured markers, I don't know. But it's really muddy still. And over there is even worse. I don't know how we're going to get through it yet. But we've done worse, haven't we? Oh, I don't know about that. It's not sinking, it's just... Right, yeah, it doesn't sink. Yeah, look, they're, they're still doing things here. It doesn't sink, she says, as she sinks straight into it. Yeah, you just jump like he does. I'm not, like, jumpable at the moment. <laughs> oh, they've been vaccinating. Look, been vaccinating. 
I think we have seen them when they've been under here once. Or they were just finishing up, I think. But we're literally under the motorway. So, as you can see, it's all... Uh, <laughs> um, I might be better off over this. <laughs> There goes my new trainees. I should have put my walking boots on, but we've been summer, I don't really tend to use them. <laughs> In summer, we just really want to wear trainers, but it's actually, if you look, it's all muddy everywhere. I don't know whether you can see, because we've had a lot of rain. So, my trainees are probably not the best idea. So, we're just gonna we'll walk along here for about three minutes across the field and then we go into the we basically go into this foresty bit down here but further up yeah right so we found the fairy woods or well, this is what I call the fairy woods it's actually got a little bit of a running water through here it doesn't normally but it's been so wet lately but if you can see it's like it's not clearing but all this floor all the way around Every bit of it, although it doesn't look like it, is covered in, br in bluebells in the spring. Well, about Easter time, we always come Easter time because there's a farm we go past as well. And normally we'd feed the lambs, any lambs where the mothers die or not doing so well. We, in fact, we know the guy now, don't we? Mm. It tends to know us when we're going past. So we always feed the lambs, but we're not going to be able to do that this time because it's too late in the year as far as I know for that so I'm just gonna keep the video on I'm gonna take it's only a little bit down here but you get to a nice little bridge with a bit of a trickle underneath it's really pretty Okay, yeah, it says we weren't going to do it here. So, this is where it leads to this little bridge here. You can see this used to be a stone bridge, a really, really old, probably a couple hundred year old stone bridge, but it collapsed a couple of years ago. Um, and they had it all shut off, you actually had to go wading through there. So, they fixed it now, and we can get across, but it's so pretty down here. You can hear all the birds, the water running. And there is bits you can get up to. There's other paths leading off here you can go in, but we'll just keep into the one path today. And um, we did bring the magnet, like we said, but we're not going to do it here. We don't have time. There's a couple of better places we think we could do it in. But the water's quite high because it's been wet, so. But this is part of the same waterway we're going to be coming to in a bit. We're just not going to do it this. At this bit. We have done bits here before, but just not the magnet. It probably would be a nice bit to do it in if we had the time. But come on. So this end is shut off. You just climb over it, I guess. Just shut off because there's cows in here. But, oh, dear me. And this does flood in winter. If there's a lot of rainfall, this area has been flooded before. Now, I can't quite see it. Give me a second. That's where we got to get to, right up there. 
You probably can't tell on the camera. You can't tell how steep it is, but that is really steep. This is the worst bit of the walk, and it's only from here to there. It's only about 200 steps, but it's so steep under the rocky ground where the cows have been. But the farm is just at the top of here, so we'll meet you back up there. <laughs> right, we've um, we're then up the hill. But the cows have been up here and it's rained recently and that was a pretty butterfly. Um what's oh, sat there? You won't be able to see it's too far away. We keep falling in puddles. It's gonna take us forever to get up there because we're having to watch exactly where we're going because look at these puddles. Fall backwards either like I just did. <laughs> They're pretty deep puddles. They're not little ones. Stuck its whole leg down there. And the humps are so far, <laughs> uh, so far spaced. I mean that. Oh, there's a, a rock. There, that will do. <clears throat> and I'm quite. <laughs> yeah, he's over there. I'm doing a better route than me, apparently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I think. Check where you're standing first. I'm going this way. It looks a bit better. Probably a good idea. There. Right, it looks okay up here now, it doesn't look as muddy. Right, excuse the heavy breathing. We made it to the top, look. It doesn't look as bad now, does it? No. Looking down. It doesn't look as steep from this angle, but blooming heck. That's the worst bit ever. We're all right once. So there is more hills, but nothing as bad as that. They're just like slopes rather than hills. So, what should I doubt the camera, mate? That's the woods we've just come up in. We're guessing there's loads more trails through there. We've just never come across them oh, yet. Yeah, or never had the time, because this is such a long walk. We don't have the time to go and find them. We will do one day. Like everything else, we're doing them bit by bit. So... The, it's still muddy here. I'm not sure if you can see, if I hold you up, there's a little fly trying to eat my camera. <laughs> it's funny. Um, there's a bridge over there and it's an old railway bridge. Oh. 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 Oh, oh big beefy cows. I hope they're cows and not bulls. They're probably bulls. That, yeah. But there's a bridge over there and it reminds me of the railway children. I'll show you when we get there. When we get through these um, bull cow things, they're scary. Right, we made it past the scary cows. <laughs> or whatever they were. Bulls. They were actually really big ones. <laughs> Milking cows, they're kind of cute. They're not quite so scary as them, but... Right, this is a bridge. Let me get to the middle bit. It's getting more and more overgrown every time we come, though. But... Oops. Yeah, very tricky. Yeah. Right, so there, the wall, and that's it on that side. Um, definitely an old train line. I know it is anyway because I've looked it up. But it just reminds me the area. I'll take a, I'll pan round in a minute when we get to the other end. It, it's like the bridge off the railway, children. And on this side, there's been a building built in it. Farm, I guess, or part of a farm. But at first we didn't know whether it'd be a river or the train, but it's not a train line, an old train line. But it's so obviously the building wasn't there because the train lines would have come through here and that building's in its way. Because at first we thought maybe it was old... Um, train building old not a depot would train it station. yeah station or some sort of like housing or something but no, i'm pretty sure it's not i don't look think at the it bricks is. used it's not even close yeah to it's the new bricks so oh yuck hang on <laughs> oh yeah Oh, like the 
my children. <laughs> No, well, oh, some people will, I'm sure they will, but that's just what it reminds me of. So, I'll just pan round on Charles' legs. Right, there is a field we go through. Um, we're going to go and see what's in there. Maybe nothing at this time of year, I doubt, but we'll see. We'll but the farmer's always in there, yeah. Or someone. In fact, I think I just seen someone, so. The sun. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'll have to zoom in. There's some chickens over there. Normally, they're running around all over the place. So we're at the farm. You can hear them. Yeah. But they're all hiding from the heat, I think, today. All the farm equipment. They literally actually go, the water takes you right the way through the actual farmhouse itself. That's a walk through the train up the building. Yeah. You usually see someone out here. Yeah, we, we, at Easter we always used to see the farmer himself. He's a really, really old guy, but he's really nice. Really nice to walk kids. I let them feed the little lambs, like I said before. And whatnot. But we're a bit late this year, so. <laughs> These digger. I don't realise, yeah, how much goes into owning farmland. Yeah. I'm not going because we're not allowed. It's... Look at that. It's kind of cool in there. It's creepy actually. <laughs> yeah. He'll be in there, the farmer himself. <laughs> My little kid's trapped, so that's cute. No, it's not going to eat today. We're at a different time, at a different time of year and the day. So, but it's nice to see them. Oh, uh, look! Chicken! <laughs> Told you they're always running around. Come here, chicken! I'm gonna take you home. Chicken drumsticks. There he's gone. But this bit here is where he keeps all the little lambs. Oh there's, one, oh, there's a couple still left, look. Later lambs. Yeah, a little later lambs, look. The bigger this year, normally they're teeny tiny, aren't they? Like, yeah. really, really baby lambs. I know. Like, they're really tame because the farmer looks after them because maybe the mum's died or... The other, the other year when we come, he says they'd been bikers through here. He thought they were motorbikers, actually. Um, killed off a few of the worried the mums. Some had been caught up in them. Killed quite a few of his sheep and he had quite a lot of lambs. I think that was about two years ago, weren't it? Yeah. You're cute. Yeah, it comes running out and sometimes they do with bottles of baby bottles full of milk for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you. Well, that's what we really needed on the video. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> Demonetized. Demonetized anyway. <laughs> yeah. Probably age restricted. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we've seen some. You get the idea of what goes on around Easter time. Farmer's probably way busy at this time anyway. Yeah. He has loads of nice information as well, doesn't he? Oh look, chicken! Come here, Mr. Chicken! Oh, <laughs> yeah. they're so cute! I always wanted chickens. Hang on. <laughs> Funny look, please. Sometimes there's cows in this one here as well. Um, or sheep that are sick or whatever. You can stand at the gate and watch. It leaves it open for you, but it looks empty today actually. Nah, it's got. It's got equipment. Please ignore the rudeness of the child. It's got um, 
equipment in there this time. Nice table over there. <laughs> but that's a little farm. Next year we might do it again at Easter like we normally do. Because it looks totally different at different times of year.